Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> They're all known as puppies. Hello everyone, welcome to Thursday Race Phase. Your favorite day of the week. Yay. So, today's a little different. Can you see? Yeah. Today's a little different. That's where we went. They didn't have the yellow chili peppers. But, as you guys seen from the video, Thursday Red Spade today is this. Total is 30, 37.48 for two pieces of mutton. It is 11.99 a pound? Yeah, 11.99 a pound. Oh, tradition, you're not supposed to touch mutton with your watch. Uh -huh. <laughs> Chubby. <laughs> Sharp as a knife. Look at that. I remember back in the day, it used to be a lot larger, cheaper. But uh, this is lamb, so eleven ninety nine a pound. So this is our Thursday Riz fave right here. You guys remember doing this? Go ahead. You want me to hold it? Okay. Mmm, smells good. We tried to make it home before it got cold. Too cold. So, <clears throat> give you guys a story in a little bit. I have a cleaver, but I'm not going to use it, though. For some that are wondering. Look at Noah. She said, mmm, smells good. <laughs> Noah said that? Yeah. I know she was jumping up on my side earlier. She keeps looking at you. <laughs> no, don't look at me, please. The bay already had leftovers. I'm trying to tell her to eat, but she don't want to. Yeah. So. Uh, if you guys. Fun fact. <laughs> no fun fact. Kids don't like mutton. Navias does it. Josiah is a mutton person. Well, not really. No. When we go to the flea market for food, he he always gets a a burger. Burger. Or he's been requesting pork chop sandwiches. Yeah. Smells good. Nice and greasy. You're gonna move it that way a little bit. This one's Warren's piece. 
Bitty Burger. You want the... No? No. Just put salt on it. So, yep, Thursday recipe consists of TNR meat. It's been so long since we had something like this. You're right. She made tortillas this morning. So, <clears throat> my spleen is okay. Your spleen is back. It's back for now. So, I guess we're going to dig in before it gets cold. Right here's the lamb. Mm. If you guys could just smell it. The outside is like crispy, huh? Mm -hmm. So those of you that try to be really like nice and like, it's not gonna work well. It's not gonna work. Mm. Remember the first time when we went over there to buy this? I think it was more than. Mm. <laughs> or maybe the pieces were bigger that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this used to be really pricey. I remember we got two for the family. We spent like 70, 80 bucks. Mm -hmm. But I was surprised on the price though. Dang, she got three of them. Some of you guys remember the old TNR building? Have you seen it? Mm -mm. No. First time I've ever had tried mutton. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I remember this was like my grandma's spot though. When we would come into town, we would always take, get mutton. I remember a few times when we went by mountain going home with my grandma. Mm -hmm. When we went with my aunt, because we used to travel to Yellow a lot with my aunt and my grandma. <laughs> my grandma would buy a big old thing of ribs. It was a lot bigger then. And we used to, my aunt had the truck, so 
my grandma would sit in the front and she would open it up while we're driving. And buy this and we'll buy store bread, the white bread. And my grandma would just tear off pieces. Just like rip it apart. Mm -hmm. And she'd be giving us all mutton. We'd be eating mutton on the way home. Then my grandma passed, and my aunt can't keep it up. She kept going to TNR for mutton. <laughs> Buy mutton, take it home, we eat it at the house. The best thing about this button <clears throat> is it's a lot different from buying from a vendor. Yeah. It's more <clears throat> tender, more tender. I don't know, just the, <clears throat> the smell of it too. It just, oh, smells good in Tina. <laughs> Never go into TNR when you're hungry. You end up at the mutton part. <laughs> Even though we don't buy mutton there, we'll just go over there and we'll go look and we'll wish. I always wonder what they did with mutton that they, that don't sell, like the one that's already cooked. Oh. Please take it home. Or I wonder if they cut it up then the next day they put it in there as ribs. Um probably huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah my lips. His lips won't be dry. <laughs> now laugh. This is really good. Every time I look at the meat, it's pretty cheap. Yeah. Way cheaper than Lowe's. Don't talk about those. Because <laughs> those workers talk about us. Mm. This is really good. This video is just all quiet. Yep. But I remember we always used to go and buy this. Like 
like when we had the money, um, we would go over there and treat ourselves to this. And it wasn't all the time. It was like, um, like, uh, like it was someone's birthday. Yeah, that's how often we would eat this. Yeah. That's why it was like a treat for us. Because we really never went to the flea market to get a mutton sandwich. So we would go to TNR and buy this and we would be so excited. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think we got one today. Should I make bread before we go over there? Yeah. Not these bread, but more her Apache style tortillas. I'm gonna make some bread, we're gonna eat this. I have um, sheep over there too, right? Mm -hmm. Why? I'm not too sure though. Yeah, I think they used to, but probably um, more people would buy the lamb. Then the other one. Uh -huh. But I would pick this over um, <laughs> buying from the flea market, though. I don't know. It just tastes different when they make theirs at TNR, maybe because it sits in there warmer all day, mm -hmm. or I don't know how long. But you know, it's good. Oven like a rotisserie. It's really good. I enjoy this. Excuse me. Sorry. Good memories of coming into Gallup, buying this, going home, eating that with slow bread. I wonder if people that, a lot of people miss TNR. Oh, oh. oh is that from out of town? Oh. I'm sure they do. Mom. What? Mom. And then there's that same guy that's been at TNR forever. The guy that's always bagging or pushing cart. He was there today. He said hi to us. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I was small when I used to see him, I think I used to think, man, is this guy from Metallica? <laughs> he saw his hairstyle too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but he's been there forever. <clears throat> I don't know how Sue really got into mutton, though. Can I get a piece of bread? I really don't know. I don't. I think, I don't know, we just went to the flea market and you fell in love with it? <laughs> I don't know. Did you have mutton before you met me? Mm -hmm. So she loved mutton then.
Mara. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> At yourself. <laughs> you guys didn't hear that. <laughs> We're on YouTube, remember? <laughs> hey. We're on YouTube, I'm right. <laughs> when we sit down and watch some vlogs after this, we'll be like, bah, bah. <laughs> Now Nala's gonna be like, what the heck? <laughs> Put it way where she won't chew it. Okay. <laughs> what are you? I noticed that some people said they don't eat mutton. But we do. This kind of bun I can eat. <clears throat> Buying from the store. Oh. But if it's fresh butchered, I can't do it. And some of you saw that video that was posted for two hours. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't do fresh mutton. I always wondered if flea market vendors sell fresh mutton. I remember one time I took a flea handling class for Naval Nation. Over at the chapter house. One of them was, uh, you're not allowed to use um, fresh meat, like a fresh butcher. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it changed now, but that was one of the um, rules from that one nation was they can't use uh, um, fresh meat. Because when the inspector comes, they have to see your receipt on uh, the purchase of the meat. I'm sure some still do though. I wonder if some do, like the ones deep on the rays, where health inspectors will never go. Yeah. Deep in the rays. <laughs> deep in the rays. <laughs> Oh. oh, did you guys see that? It slipped out of her hand. This one's not white. No? It's just fat. Oh. <clears throat> right behind you, look. Nala, say hi to these guys. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> Nala's watching. She's like, where's my pace? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm trying to hold this, but it's slipping out of my hand. We enjoyed it so much, we didn't even talk, really. But thank you guys. Thank you for... <clears throat> thank you for watching. I'm glad you guys enjoy Thursday Rice Cave. 
But as you guys see, we have a a new addition. Coming Monday. So we since we always go to our spot on Saturday. We figure why not try a little review on all the spots that sell mutton in the flea market. So So I'm not gonna eat all week until Saturday. Yep. So uh we're gonna hit up the first mutton stand on Saturday. And <clears throat> She's gonna do a roast mutton sandwich. So we'll be reviewing that. And then I'll probably do the <laughs> Navajo burger. Hey, Nala. So yes, I'm gonna do Navajo burgers, even though I don't eat them. Chubby, shoot. Um, I'm a big Apache burger person. So, I'm gonna do Navajo burgers. She's gonna do roast mutton sandwiches. Every week is gonna be a different food stand. So we're gonna rate them, uh, show what food stand it is. Everything from what type of cheese they use to their fry bread, their chili, their amount of meat on their sandwich. If it's tender, if it's tough. And what kind of <laughs> toppings you get for their price, I guess. We're not gonna ask for anything special. Yeah. We're not gonna ask for anything <clears throat> special. Just how they sold it. Yeah, so we'll compare the difference between all of them and see which one turns out to be the best. Maybe it might be the more expensive one. Maybe it might be the cheaper one. But <laughs> that series is Mutton Stand Monday. I think I said it right, Mutton Stand Monday. So that'll be coming up this coming Monday. Pretty soon we're gonna be busy all five days of the week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of think that um, our Mexican review, Mexican review is gonna be coming to an end pretty soon. Yeah. Um, we still have a few more restaurants to hit up and I think that's... Hey. And then I think so that's don't pick on her. pretty much it. So, got a few more restaurants and then we're done with Gallup. And then, so that one's gonna be ending pretty soon. And so we figured we'd try the Mexican Mexi Mutton Stand Monday. Mexican. <laughs> Mexican. 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 So, and then, I don't know what we'll do Wednesdays. I'm full. Friday, live. Saturday. Wednesday live. Weekly live. Talk about it Wednesday. 30 minutes. I'm full, guys. Yeah, that's, it was good. Who wants the last two? Who wants the last two pieces? Come and get it. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for joining us. And I only had one chili. And here, I threw it all on here. I'm gonna eat it all. I know, I thought he was gonna eat it all. No, my plastic spleen is going to have to hold up. It might act up. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys, and we'll see you guys on the, 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 the Sunday. Is it? Oh, yeah, we have to. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll see you guys on summer Sunday. But thank you guys for um, watching us eat. I know we made you guys hungry. But. Go get your mutton at TNR. Go get your mutton. Shane Baloo sent you. <laughs> Earl Baloo. <laughs> so, thank you guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.